Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Alia Shafika binti Sharudin. Number metric S59507. So for today, I'm going to represent my assignment task using Excel. Question number one, based, the, based on the data given, we should make traditional and contribution format income statement. For tradi traditional format income statement, just insert the data given. Cost of goods sold. To find gross margin, sales minus with cost of goods sold. For selling and administrative expenses, the variable at selling and fixed selling should be mixed together. Also, for administrative variable administrative plus with mixed administrative so the total for expenses is 5000 while the net income gross margin minus with the expenses The same method I use for contribution for my income statement. Just insert the data given. Make sure to plus the variable expenses first before minus it with sales to find contribution margin. Same method for fixed sales, fixed selling. For the net operating income, contribution margin minus with fixed expenses. So the net operating income is RM1000. For question number two, based on the data given, using five step to find selling price of job 407. So, calculate the estimate total manufacturing. Step first, calculate the estimate total manufacturing overhead cost for each department. There is two department, department mining and assembly. Step first, 
insert the data giveaway. To find total variable manufacturing overhead, total machine hour or direct labor might multiply by variable manufacturing overhead per machine hour or direct labor hour. Also for department assembly. So total manufacturing overhead, you must tot plus the total variable manufacturing overhead with total fixed manufacturing overhead cost. Same to department assembly. Using same formula for them. Step 2. Calculate the predetermined overhead rate in each department. Total manufacturing overhead. Insert total machine hour or direct labor hour from the data. To find predetermined overhead rate per machine hour or direct labor, total manufacturing overhead divided by total machine hour or direct labor hour. Step 3. Calculate the amount of overhead applied from both department to job 407. So insert the predetermined that we already find it from step 2. For machine hour or direct labor hour for job. Just take it from the data. To find manufacturing overhead applied, predetermine overhead rate per machine hour or direct labor hour, multiply by Machine hour or direct labor hour for the job. Step 4. Calculate the total job cost for job 407. Direct materials. Just take from the Data. Direct labor cost also take it from here. So find the total of them. So find the total of them. Auto sum the total 
which will make you easier. So the total step five, calculate the selling price for a job, four hundred and seven. Total cost job is two thousand four hundred and eighty five. Markup. The data given that markup is 75% on the job cost. So, total cost of job multiplied by 75%. Selling price of job is four thousand three hundred forty eight and seventy five cents. Question number three. Based on the data given using weighted average method find the equivalent unit of production cost per equivalent unit cost of ending work in process inventory and the unit transfer up and cost reconciliation step first insert the data given Unit transfer to the next department is unit started into production during the period minus with unit in process in the beginning. Same method for conversion minus with 200. Materials equivalent unit in ending work in process inventory given that materials 400 40% from 400 Y conversion 25% from 400 So the equivalent unit is unit transfer plus the material for the conversion also for the conversion plus with the conversion. Cost of beginning work in process is insert the data cost at during the period is Material or material is this and this total cost is plus. Some of them.
equivalent unit of production insert the equivalent that we find just now So to find cost per equivalent unit, total cost divide by equivalent unit of production. So for cost of ending work in process, inventory and the unit transfer out. The Equivalent unit is one hundred and six for conversion is one hundred cost per equivalent is. Seventy. Seventy. Cost of ending work in process. To find cost of ending work in process inventory, equivalent unit multiplied by cost per equivalent unit. And the total to make it easier in cost reconciliation later. So for the unit transfer to the, the next department, Per cost per equivalent. Also, take it from here and to find cost of unit transfer out. Unit transfer to the next department multiplied by cost per equivalent per unit. Cost equivalent per cost per equivalent unit. So for the conversion rate, total it out to some So lastly for cost reconciliation, cost of beginning work in process is six. Uh, sorry, nine thousand plus with five thousand seven five hundred and cost at to production period is from the data plus conversion cost. So the total. Is seven hundred fifty four thousand six hundred and seventy five. Why cost counted for as follow cost of ending work in process is. The total that ready totally just now. And here is four hundred fifteen thousand and two hundred and sum it together. 